questionable long-term efficacy. Um, all women between the ages of 11 to 26 must receive the vaccine as part of a mandatory immigration health exam. Yeah, and, and that's and also happening in the U.S., and Perry tried yeah. to say it was the law, the governor of Texas. All Perry really did was say, I'm putting on the list of recommended shots to attend school, but that's a recommendation. They have a waiver form. In the trials three years ago, it was admitted people were dying and having autoimmune responses and becoming paralyzed. And in England, when they forcibly inject your daughters and they die or become paralyzed, they threaten to arrest you. This was in the Times of London. I had a member of Parliament on Thursday about this, if, if, if you were listening, threatening you not to speak out when it kills your daughter or maims them. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, and and not only that, but it really reeks of um, it reeks of Kissinger and Rumsfeld put together. It really does because you know uh, with uh, Kissinger's uh, NSS, it was it NSSM two hundred. Um, yes, that, uh, that was National you know, Security Memorandum two hundred to sterilize half the planet at least. Exactly. I mean, it really reeks of that. And they me. say in the White House Science Czar's own te government textbook, sterilize That's people through vaccines and water. Exactly. And so, you know, I mean, it's kind of like a, a, a mass murderer writing his crimes down in a journal, and then you find the journal and find the bodies, and you're like, oh, well, I have no idea who's doing that. And the Gardasil has been, uh, it's, it's only three years in, but it's being linked now to, to uh, serious fertility problems. Appreciate your call. Oh, yeah. God bless you. Let's talk to Melanie in Arkansas. Melanie, you're on the air. Hi, Alex. Uh, first, I would like to thank your wife for the love and support she gives you. Well, thank you. So you can do what you do. Thank you. Secondly, I'd like to say that when I got up Friday morning, first thing I did was give a donation to wearechange.org for their uh, money round for the first responders. When I checked last night, they only had a, thousand, a little over $1,000. Well, they're trying hard, and there's a lot of different branches out there, but we appreciate your call, ma'am. Your phone is really bad. Try to call us back someday when your phone's not cutting out. Thank you. Good to hear from you, though, uh, Melanie in Arkansas. God bless you. Victoria in Virginia. Victoria, you're on the air. Oh, I just wanted to say about the uh, mainstream media that mainstream media suck, and they are no more than monopoly puppets that push the right-left bipartisan paradigm of divide and conquer lies, and those lies are catching up with them and coming back to bite them uh, soon. Thanks to you and other freedom fighters, uh, the people are just tired of choosing between evil and lesser evil, and they're waking up and rebelling against the shadow government tyranny and control of our government and our country and the world using war and money to control the people. And thank you for your tireless work on behalf of this country's freedom and on behalf of humanity. Lots of us are praying for you every day for your safety, your mission, and your continued success in real media coverage. So I just want to say thank you and God bless you. God bless you, ma'am. Wow. Well said. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I talked to so many Fox News, CNN producers over the years. They go, oh, we're fans. We know you're right, but... You know, this place is basically government run and uh, but it isn't working anymore. You know, the Republicans are getting all this support now. But as soon as they get in power, they're going to continue the globalist agenda. But th it isn't working anymore. The people are waking up to that. So if the Republicans don't immediately start auditing the Fed and abolishing it and getting us out of the wars, it's over for them. And they'll put Democrats back in in two years. And then we'll, we, and then we're going to be in a full bore revolution. That's why they want to use the flu or some other crises to try to scare people into going along with the police state. Zach in Pennsylvania, you're on the air, Zach. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for calling. Um, it's an honor to speak to you, sir. Uh, honor to talk to you. What's on your mind? I'd just like to thank you for your hard work and all the documentaries. Um, you have helped me. Um, <laughs> Wake up to the new world order. I've seen Endgame. I've seen the Obama deception. I've seen Terror Storm. I've seen quite a bit of your documentaries, and I just want to thank you on behalf of the state of Pennsylvania. Well, I want to thank you for being involved. Look, I got a family here. If I don't have freedom, you're not going to have freedom. It's it's, it's mutual. It's symbiotic. And so, 
I know everybody likes to thank me, but we ought to start a dittos thing like Rush has or something. Look, I want to thank you for just caring and being involved, sir. I'm only doing my duty. I would be a crazy person to know what I know, to read White House science czar government policy book where they say they're poisoning the water and want to sterilize us and bring in a planetary dictatorship, everything my film Endgame covers. Just all admitted in this. I would be a raving lunatic if I didn't do everything I could to fight this. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think of the media refusing to uh, admit that there were two million people at the Tea Party? I just read the, the um, report from Infowars.com. It's total BS. It's completely fabricated. I mean, I saw the pictures from the rooftops. I saw the YouTube video. There was clearly at least two million people there. Homeland Security says two million. The British news isn't just, and the, and the German news, I'm not saying they're perfect either, but they do what old-fashioned media did. They call up the police running the event and say, how many people do you estimate were there? Oh, okay, a thousand, twenty thousand, a hundred thousand, a million, two million. They said two million. Homeland Security's quoted. It's absolute fact. Two million. The police on the mall, their experts said two million. They're trained to count crowds. I appreciate your call, so we got to go to break. Uh, but good to hear from you, and thanks for the support. I mean, look, it's not our opinion. You can read Homeland Security. It says the line of protesters spread across Pennsylvania Avenue for blocks all the way to the Capitol, according to the Washington Homeland Security Emergency Management Agency, upwards of 2 million people marched to U.S. Capitol to protest against Obama's spending. 2 million! Get it straight. Where's the retraction from the New York Times and the Austin American Statesman? Don't hold your breath. That's a long time waiting for a train that won't come. The New World Order beast is genetically modifying your food, mixing vegetables with animals, and now experimenting with viruses. Without a long-term long food solution, you will have just two options. Starve, surrender, or surrender. surrender. All canned food supplies. All canned food supplies will eventually run out. What then? Then. Grow your own healthy food and feed your family forever. SurvivalistSeeds.com is now the nation's largest bulk heirloom seed company. And it's owned by a real patriot, Big John Lipscomb. You can now, you can have, now have an infinite amount of healthy vegetables like a watermelon, a bundle of carrots, or tomatoes for a little more than a penny each. SurvivalistSeeds.com. And now you can go into business with Big John at SurvivalistSeeds.com by becoming an affiliate. See his link at SurvivalistSeeds.com. You found it, ladies and gentlemen, the front lines in the info war. We wage war on corruption. We crash into the lies and disinformation. More of your calls coming up. Toll free, 888-201-2244, 888-201-2244. On this live September 13th, Sunday edition. And the globalists don't like it. The New World Order, this private consortium of banks and corporations that are taking over all the governments of the planet and taking over the U.S. and England like we're another third world nation to loot us and rob us, they don't get it. There is no more Mr. Nice Guy. We're done. We're not putting up with their crap anymore. Remember last year at the DNC, we're going to play this clip later when we get into the 9-11 segment when we come back after the news, I went with a bullhorn and people and chanted 9-11's an inside job. That crowd was smart. If you try to give a long speech yelling at a reporter from behind, it doesn't go out over air. It just sounds like noise. But if you say, tell the truth, tell the truth, or don't tax me, or simple things, it gets across the news. All the armchair quarterbacks told me I should have given a long, eloquent speech on the bullhorn. No, we said 9-11 was an inside job, and Google Infowars.com, and it had a massive effect. But good job of the folks at the Tea Party. But I'll play for the video audience, people watching right now, uh, the time-lapse video from just one major street, two miles long, leading to the Capitol for the demonstration. And the, and the foreign news reported all the major streets leading to the mall filled up. This is a half a million people, at least, that you see congregate uh, right there on your screen as they go to the mall. This is a time-lapse from on top of a roof. 
You can go up to prisonplanet.com and uh, check it out for yourself. How big was the crowd? Time-lapse video shows magnitude of the rally. And uh, there it is for you, but that's the title of the story. For those that aren't prisonplanet.tv members, just want to go to Prison Planet and uh, watch that uh, video clip for yourselves. How long can the mainstream media get away with this? You know, on the jogging on the treadmill this morning, I uh, was I watched Real Time with Bill Maher. That's the name of his stupid uh, HBO show, isn't it? I, 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 I watch it a lot. I forget the name. And the whole thing was lies. It was, you're a racist if you criticize Obama. And all of his little pet guests would clap and agree, oh, you're such a genius reading off a teleprompter. And then he would say things... Uh, you know, that were just amazing. No, we don't want open borders. We don't want to turn our guns in. We don't like Obama and the foreign banks, along with the Republicans, stealing $23.7 trillion in the last 11 months and growing double the GDP. Uh, we don't like all this corruption. 